the main event for UFC 280, the big one. The one to finally crown a new lightweight champion, Charles Oliveira versus Islam Makachev. Oliveira is the champ, let's face it. He lost it on a technicality, being half a pound overweight. Um, but I still view him as a champion. He, he never lost his belt. But this is to be official, to, a, to crown the lightweight champion this weekend. Islam Makachev is taking on the champion, in inverted commas, Charles Oliveira. And this is a close one, man. I mean, I've been doing research, proper study in this one, and after doing a few, you know, a few hours of looking at some of these fights, yeah, I think I think Islam Makachev is gonna is gonna beat Charles Oliveira, and I think it's gonna be a close one. I don't think it's gonna be like a dominant a dominant victory. Uh, I think Charles Oliveira is gonna have his success in round number one. I think he's gonna hurt Islam Makachev and have his way on, on the feet. But after that, I think. Makachev's going to slowly and eventually start grinding away at Charles Oliveira. He's going to get a few takedowns. He's going to slow Oliveira down. And I reckon he's going to finish him in round number three, four, or five. I think by that point, I reckon the top finish control... Him how? Finish him how? I reckon he's going to grind on Pound TKO him. And why I say this is because I've, I've looked at a lot of Charles Oliveira's fights, yeah? yeah? And the reason why he's so successful in his in his recent fights and why he's looked so good is because he's fought the likes of, like, Justin Gaethje, Dustin Poirier, Michael Chandler. These fighters have only fought, have only had one approach when fighting Charles Oliveira, and that's to seek and destroy and to, and to finish him on the feet. Um, and what happens is, from round number one, they get dragged into dogfights, and then they slowly start to walk because Oliver is tough. Obviously, he's got the grappling as well over a lot of these fighters. And um, yeah, as they get dragged into a dogfight, they end up losing to, to obviously the better fighter. And I think Makachev's not going to have that approach. I reckon he's going to fight more calculated. Um, he's going to use his, his, his defense. He's going to move around the cage. He's not going to go at Charles Oliveira in a straight line. And I reckon it's going to open up some takedowns for Makachev. And then... We're going to see him slowly start grinding away at Oliveira. Looking at Oliveira versus Kevin Lee is, is where I'm thinking, um, is where, where I'm getting this sort of um, uh, like like perception because Kevin Lee had Oliveira looking tired, was taking him down with ease, and it's not until Kevin Lee got tired himself is when Oliveira latched onto a guillotine from a lazy takedown from Kevin Lee. And I don't think Makachev is going to get tired. I do think he's going to take Oliveira down similarly how Kevin Lee took him down. And I think he's going to be, be better at the top control, better positioning. <clears throat> and I think we're going to see Oliveira drain um, and get tired quicker. That's actually what I see happening. But obviously, it's a close one. I do see round one being competitive and Oliveira hurting Makachev in some spots. But Makachev surviving. Um... And then again, as I say, slowly wearing him down for uh, a TKO victory of ground and pound over rounds three, four, five. Um, yeah, that's what I see happening. What do you what do you see happening in this one? You know, what? I've been um, back and forth with you and everyone uh, talking about this fight. Um, I've n I don't know what way to lead with this man at all. Um, because uh, Oliveira, just look at his record. Everybody knows Charles Oliveira. You know his record is amazing. Um, he's fought some top fighters and and won. You just named three of them. You know. Um, I I, and you know that everybody everybody would say that Makachev, Makachev will dominate him because of his his um grappling and his wrestling. Um. His great fighting style, you know, his relentlessness. But um, everyone's forgetting that Oliveira has the same um, attributes, you know. Um, Oliveira is actually a great fighter, so I don't really know where to lean with this. I would say if it does go the full five rounds, yeah, and and it goes to decision, then Makachev, Makachev might get this decision just by their their grappling and wrestling exchanges. He will come out on top. But Oliveira will damage him. Um, first two rounds, I reckon we're gonna see some explosiveness from Oliveira, man. Um, this may this may be me just saying because I'm a fan, but um, I I think Oliveira he could finish him in the first three rounds. He could, um, but but 
But let me not take from Makachev because I do like Makachev. He's a good fighter. He is he is very tough. You know, he does have a very good chin on him. A strong chin. Um, great, great wrestling. So if it does go down, he could he could get Oliveira into a surprising bad position and sub submit him. But um, I'm not sure, man. I just I just see Oliveira surprising us, man. And, and who's the favorite for this? Uh Makachev. Makachev. Exactly. I do mm. see Oliveira surprising everyone because uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Makachev is the favorite, so. Uh, and as well, I do think that the odds should be more even. It should be more of an even fight. I don't think it should be as like. Uh, it's, it's, so definitely be, it's definitely not going to be one-sided. You know? Yeah. I, I, I think it, um, Oliveira could finish him, but if it goes past the, if it goes past three rounds, Makachev is going to win by points. That's what I'm. That's that's what I'm going with. But but I I I, I think maybe Oliveira, because I have to go. So I'm going to say Oliveira finishes third round. You got over Oliveira finish, yeah? Yeah, that's 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 what I see. Just because just because he knows Makachev's um Makachev is dangerous, so he knows he can't give him that opportunity to submit him. So he's gonna have to he knows that that he has to damage him, he has to try and finish him. I do think though that Makachev's stand up is a little bit underlooked and underrated as well. I mean yeah, yeah, a lot of people a lot of people forget that the camp that they're with it's predominantly um, a, a lot. Although there's a lot of wrestlers that's been there, DC, Cain Velasquez, obviously Khabib, and now the rest of the Dagestani's there. It's a kickboxing academy at the end of the day. So obviously they're, they're striking, and and Makachev having a decent foundation as well. I reckon that's going to be evident in this fight. I think people are going to start to take note and realize that Makachev is a decent striker. Because although I don't think he's going to hurt Oliver if anything substantial on the feet, I reckon he'll do enough to stay safe and land some decent. Stri- Strikes, um, and yeah, man. Just remember the Kevin Lee fight at the end of the day. Yeah, he was taking Oliveira down um, with ease, and then I think in round number two he had like two and a half minutes control time with Oliveira doing absolutely nothing off his back. So based off that, I reckon Makachev, as soon as he gets him down in that position, as soon as he, as soon as he gets a clear takedown in the center of the cage, not near the fence or anything. And Makachev is on top of him. I think he's going to be able to really put some mad pressure on Oliveira. And we're going to see him breathing heavy. And I think we're going to see a... Um, I don't think Makachev will be able to get the submission. But he's going to ground and pound him. He's going to pound the back of his head, the side of his head. Flatten him out. <laughs> and I reckon we're going to see a finish for Makachev. So, T going with Oliveira. I'm going with Makachev to get the finish later rounds. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Like, subscribe. And we'll be back with more.